Today, we're going to be covering the top 10 most valuable Hank Greenberg baseball cards. But first, if you don't know who Hank Greenberg is, he was a superstar during the 1930s for the Detroit Tigers and one of the first famous Jewish athletes in America. While he was only able to play nine full seasons, he accumulated 55 war and had somewhat similar offensive stats to Mike Trout. He compiled 331 home runs, over 1,000 runs, 1,276 RBIs, and only 1,400 games. Greenberg also served four years in the military during World War II and was one of the first players to welcome Jackie Robinson to Major League Baseball. So with that being said, let's start off this list with number 10, and that is the 1941 play ball. This was their last set before onset of World War II. It is a cheaper card. You can find a four for about five or six hundred dollars, as well as a six, slightly over one thousand. In the number nine spot, we have a Gaudi release that's not too popular, and that is from 1936. Now, you can also find a four slightly over that five hundred dollar threshold. In the eighth spot, we have the 1934 through 36 batter up cards. These have die cuts in them. They're somewhat popular, but because there's so many great sets during that era, not a lot of people know about them. You can find it for for around $800. For number seven, we have two cards in the set, and that is 1935 Diamond Stars. The cards look identical. However, it's the spelling of the name. So one version has Greenberg spelled B-E-R-G at the end. The other one has B-U-R-G. The one with the U-R-G at the very end is a little bit rarer. The first baseball set of Opeche came out in 1937. These are extremely tough to source. I rarely see them at card shows. Four, last one sold in 2020 for $700, whereas a seven sold also that year for $4,000. And guys, before we jump into the top five, please subscribe to the channel. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. I try to post a lot more of these top 10 videos, which take hours to research as well as card show vlogs and how to spot fake sports cards. Okay, so for our honorable mentions, we're going to start off with a 1946 Propagandas Montiel. These cards were distributed from Cuba. They're pretty scarce to find and very condition sensitive. Good luck finding anything higher than like a two or a three grade. Most of them are in the hands of collectors. So one sold all the way back in 2019 for $150. Couldn't find too much sales from the set. This next card is a little bit oversized. It's a 1936 R311. They are black and white. And to my knowledge, there's also football players in there. Two sold in 2020 for $300. And lastly, we have the first year of play ball cards, 1939. They're not as expensive as some other years because they were black and white. And the imagery kind of lacks, to be honest with you. Although there is the great Ted Williams rookie in there and an early Joe DiMaggio. But you can find a two for about $200. A seven sold for $1,300. In the number five spot, we have the extremely popular 1938 Gaudis. Now, there he has two different versions on this set. He has one with cartoons in the background, which those were later numbers in the set. And then he has the plain background. You can find a three for about $500. The last four sale was $1,700. I honestly expected this next card to be higher up on the list before researching, but that is the 1934 Gaudi. In fact, I recently picked one up a few weeks ago at 3.5, and we valued that at about $2,000. Now, the last PSA 4 sale sold for $2,200, and a 9 sold for astounding $220,000. Number three is a ultra scarce card. This is the first set that has a major league card of the one and only Joe DiMaggio, and that is 1936 Worldwide Gum. Again, another Canadian card on this list. The last two sold in 2019 for $1,000, whereas a four senior sold for $2,500. In the number two spot, we have the 1934 Anis Furs. They were a fur company that had these cards distributed out of Detroit, so you can only find those players within the set, but these are ultra scarce. I couldn't find any public sales of these, but from talking to a few different collectors that have them, they would outsell the 1934 Gaudi. And in the number one spot, we have an even rarer rookie card from 1934. And uh, I believe the pronunciation is called Al Demir's. They are die cut cards. There's only one or two copies known for this Greenberg. So it's really what someone would be willing to pay for this at auction. But because it is super scarce, no sales available out there, 
I would assume at least this is a five figure card, if not more, if it went to auction. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You should also watch this one right here of Sandy Koufax, another Jewish superstar in America and one of the best pitchers for the Dodgers.